And if ye will not be reformed by me, by these things, but will walk contrary unto me, then will I also walk contrary unto you. Wait, so if you walk contrary unto the Lord, how do you walk contrary by walking past, ignoring a brother when he asks what's your nationality, man? By not keeping the commandments. Right, by following uh, after your own lust, after your own covetousness. If you walk contrary to the Lord, he's going to walk contrary to you. Right. And will punish you yet seven times for your sins. Wait, seven times completion, man. A complete amount of destruction coming, man. Right, read. And I will bring a sword upon you. Wait, so that sword coming up. To, sword is coming to two-thirds of our people, man. Right. You're going to take heed. You're going to take this too serious. Be on fire in these last days. Or you're going to get the sword, read. Right. right. That shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant. And when ye are gathered together within your cities, I will send a pestilence among you, and ye shall be delivered into the hand of the enemy. Break that shit out. Bring it out. It's a book of Second Ezra, fifteen to twenty-seven. For how are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them? Right. So America is going to be plagued, man. America will be plagued by nuclear destruction. America is going to be plagued by famine. America is going to be plagued by pestilence, man. Evil, war, race wars. America's gonna be plagued, and if you're not repenting, then you're gonna be caught up in that, man. Right, right Reed? For Yahweh shall not deliver you because you have sinned against him. What? Because you have sinned against him. So you're not getting delivered because you have sinned against the Lord, man. You have sinned against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Right, Reed? Behold, a horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia. Where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth. That all they which hear, which oh, hear, verse, uh, 28. Verse 28. Come. 28. Behold, an horrible vision, and the appearance thereof from the east. Right, so a horrible vision from the east, man. Get Revelation 16 and 12. Why are we talking China? Right, Iran? We're talking about the East, man. The kings of the East is going to make war against America, man. Right, bring out Revelation 16 and 12. Revelation 16 and 12. And the sixth angel poured out his vow upon the great river Euphrates. Wait, it's like he, uh, Exodus 8 and 1. And the water thereof was dried up. Right, so this is a prophecy. We're showing you prophecies in the scriptures. The great, the great river Euphrates is dried up right now, man. The great river Euphrates is now just a great puddle, man. Right, that's the Lord's doing. Right, Reed? That the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Right, so the kings of the east can be prepared to make war against Babylon the Great. Right? And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon. Right, so three unclean spirits, three unclean spirits, not literally three, a complete amount of spirits bouncing all over the earth like frogs, staring up World War III, staring up destruction, making sure that these prophecies come to pass, man. Putting the spirit upon these men, because all cause these men, these Donald Trumps, these so-called Illuminati, these are all puppets of the Lord, man. The Lord controlling these men, right, Reed? And out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, for they are the spirits of devils, right? Working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of the of that great day of God Almighty. Right, to gather them to the battle, man. Get Jeremiah 51 and 22. Right, bring it out. Verse 1. Uh, 8 and 1. Exodus. Con, the book of Exodus chapter 8, verse 1. Bring it reads, out. And the Lord spake unto Moses, Go unto Pharaoh, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Let my people go, that they may serve me. Right here, read. Verse 2. And if thou refuse to let them go, behold, I will smite all thy borders with frogs, and the rivers shall be so like, and the rivers shall bring forth frogs abundantly. Right, so just like ancient Egypt was played with literal frogs, a hey, modern day Egypt, which is America, gonna be played with frogs, man. Which yeah. is these spirits jumping to and fro throughout the earth called staring up World War III, man. Yeah. That's what we out there warn the people about, man. Destruction, death, to let you know that you the times that's coming to pass is like times that never that never uh, happened before on the earth, man. Right. And you're not gonna be able to make get out of it on your own, man. That's right. You're gonna need help and your help is gonna come from the Lord. Right. Your help is not gonna come from your from your gun. Your help is not gonna come from the food that you didn't stocked up. It's not going to help from your, your homeboy that you know from 73rd. The help is going to come from your high boss and your shot, That's man. Right. You, other than that, you're not going to be able to make it out of this thing, man. That's right. Wait, bring that up. Jeremiah 51 and 22. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. It's like uh, 50 and 22. 
Hey, that's coming to pass too, though. Bring it up. Jeremiah 50 and 22. A sound of battle is in the land. So a sound of battle, man. Where are we blowing the trumpet, man? A sound of battle is in the land. There's no peace here, man. Right, people? Get uh, Ezekiel 16 and 13. Get Ezekiel 16 and 13. There's not going to be no peace coming to Pittsburgh, man. There's not going to be no peace coming to America. Nothing but death and destruction is coming to this place. It's a sound of battle, man. The, get Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is about this, man. That's right. This is not what you're going to hear in your Christian church. Right, bring it out. And of great destruction. Right, a sound of battle and great destruction, man. That's what we out here to teach the people. That's what the Lord commanded us to tell the people. Bring it up. Ezekiel chapter 16 and verse 13. Bring it up. Thus was thou decked with gold and silver, and thy raiment was of fine linen. Uh, Ezekiel. Let me read 13 and 16. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 13 and verse 16. Bring it up. To wit, the prophets of Israel, which prophesied concerning Jerusalem, and we see visions of peace for her. Right. So these y'all false prophets that seeing visions of peace. Talk about 2021 gonna be a year. Right. You might not see 2021, man. Right. Talk about 2021 gonna be a year. Peace. Uh, Jesus loved the world. We gotta pray. We not praying for the country. When did when did the prophets pray for the country, man? Exactly. They were prophesying destruction, man. That's right. They wanted to see. They wanted to see the land in captivity fall, man. That's right. Right. Read it from the top. Verse 16, to wit, the prophets of Israel was prophesied concerning Jerusalem and would see visions of peace for her. And there is no peace. There is no peace, man. Right now here prophesying peace, peace, when there's no peace, man. Right. The Lord not coming with peace. Right, bring that out. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 15 and verse 3. Hey, brother, you know your nationality? All right, brother, you got to repent. Y'all got to repent. Y'all Israelites, man. That's right. Not black men, not nigg niggas, not African Americans, Israelites. Right, 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 right. Bring it out. Exodus chapter 15 and verse 3. Bring it out. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is what? The Lord is a man of war. No peace. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. Right, right. Yahweh is his name. And Yahweh is his name. Come. Right, bring that out. First Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. As travail upon a woman with child. As travail a woman with child. Man, there's no peace and safety. When they say peace and safety, that's when the Lord come back, man. Right. That's right. when all hell break loose, man. Right. right, Reed. And they shall not escape. They shall not escape. You're going to be caught up in that, man. Right. You're talking about peace and safety and then all hell break loose. You're like running around with a chick on your head cut off, man. Not knowing what to do. Seeking help when there is no help. Right, because you deny the help. This is the time to get the help, man. That's right. The help come from the Lord. That's right. Right, read up from the top. Come on. No, read uh, verse 1. Come on. First Thessalonians 5 and 1. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Right. So we know that, man. We know the Lord comes like a thief in the night. That's what we watching, preparing ourselves for this thief, man, which is Yahweh Shah, man. Right, right read. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them. Right, right. suddenly. Right. Sudden destruction come upon them, man. Why they worry about peace and safety? As like we read earlier, as in the days of Moses. I mean, in the days of uh, Noah, man. Right, read. As travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Right, so when they're not going to overtake us as a thief, man. Right, like the movie uh, Home Alone, man. And they, they, he, didn't, he didn't get overtook it, man. He, he knew a thief was coming to break in the house. He had to prepare himself. We know a thief is coming. We know the Lord coming with vengeance, man. With a sword, with fire, and chairs like a whirlwind, man. And vengeance and fury, man. So we preparing ourselves, man. We getting our houses in order, man. We say, we, on the spiritual level, we setting up them traps like they did in Home Alone, man. Where is it on that? This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 7 and verse 25. Right. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace. Uh, yeah, come, come. And there shall be none. Verse 26. Mischief shall come upon mischief. Right. So they're they going to seek peace, and there shall be no peace, man. Right. Mischief upon mischief, man. Wait, all hell going to be breaking loose when the day the Lord returns. That's right. Wait, right, read. And rumors shall be upon rumor. Right. Rumors of wars. Rumors of World War Three. Rumors of famine, man. Right. right read. Then shall they seek a, a vision of the prophet. Then they're going to be looking for the man of the Lord, man. The right. same ones that's walking, walking past, 
ignoring us. They got stiff neck. What's your nationality? That's like they don't hear us. Right. We on the mic, man. We know you hear us, man. Right. You gotta hear us, man. Right, but right. They, that day they been looking, they been looking for us, man. Sure. They gonna be right, right here looking for us, and all they gonna see this, this goofy dude in the mirror dancing, huh. this Santa Claus, man. Where, 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 where them brothers from Pittsburgh at? They usually out here around one, two o'clock. They gonna be up here at seven p.m. still waiting. Right. They ain't, they ain't coming, man. That's right. They didn't say, well, Cleveland kind of close, so you probably go to Cleveland. We ain't out there, man. Right, read that verse on the top. Con Ezekiel chapter seven and verse twenty-six. Right. Mischief shall come upon mischief. And rumors shall be upon rumors. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet. But the law shall pa perish from the priest. Right. Right. The law is going to perish from the priest. Ain't no, ain't no more breaking down the law, man. Ain't no more breaking down prophecies. That day is up. Right. Ain't no more breaking down Deuteronomy 28 for you, man. Oh. Right? You got a priest up? It's Isaiah 66 and 15. Bring it out. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. Right. And with his chariots right. like a whirlwind. With his chariots like a whirlwind, man. Them chairs only got two jobs. They either beaming you up or they destroying you, man. Right. 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 To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Right. So we rebuke you with the words of the Lord or the Lord going to rebuke you with fire, man. That's right. The Lord not right. coming back a happy man skipping through the uh, the flowers, skipping through the field. No, he's coming back furious, man. Right, Reed? For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Right. right. Get Revelation 1 and uh, 3. That's right. Give me 7. Come on, you can bring it up. It's the book of Zechariah, chapter 14 and verse 12. Bring it out. And this shall be the plague for which the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Right, so we're talking missiles, man. We're talking World War III where your flesh consume away in your feet. Right, Reed? Right. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Right, so this fire is going to have your, your, your eyes socket milk, man. Get Ezekiel 22 and 17, man. Get Ezekiel 22 and 17. Get 2 Peter 3 and 10. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Right, so he coming with clouds, a huge chariot the size of a mountain, and every eye shall see him, Read. And they also which pierced him. And those that killed him, Read. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. No, they're going to rejoice. Shall well because of him. They're going to be happy. Shall well because of him. Shall well, Reed. Even so, amen. Right, even so, amen, man. It's going to be destruction, man. They the Lord are going to be a pretty thing, man. Yeah, right. what you got? Yeah, get Second Peter 3 and 10. Come on, the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 10. Up. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Right. In the which the heavens shall pass away. Right, the heavens is talking about these kingdoms, man. Right, right these are heavens. Cause, hey, Esau in heaven. Bro, you know your nationality? Excuse me? Do you know your nationality? Do you know my nationality? Yes, sir. What is that? What is my nationality? But you said, what's your na What is my nationality? Get drunk in 2015. We're going to show you. Huh? Get, uh, get, uh, do uh, uh, me, uh, 29 and 1. Bring it up. 29 and 1. Romney, chapter 29 and verse 1. These are the words which Moses spake unto the children. So look it. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. With the children of Israel. So we're the children of Israel. Right. right. Hey, we're the Israelites the Bible speak of. Right? You believe in the Bible? Yes. Yes. Right. You know God got a chosen people? Yes. That's right. Who are the chosen people of God? That's right. right. That's right. That's right, brother. Get drunk 2015. If we God chosen people, why we at the bottom? Why we in the ghettos and the slums? Why did God put his chosen people through slavery? That's a good question. Let's give you a good answer. Bring it out. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. You familiar with Moses? Yes. Alright, so what did Moses do? <laughs> Moses, uh, what he did? Well, one of the East the Red Sea. Okay. Right? Why did he you know why he did that? Why to free the children of Israel out of slavery. They were slaves in ancient Egypt. Right? After he freed them, he gave them the commandments. After that, he told them this. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. He told them, if you don't listen to God and obey God's commandments, read. Right. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. They say God is going to punish you all by putting curses on you. You understand that? Right, we're going to read some of these curses. Get verse 46. And these curses are going to help us identify who God's chosen people are. Right, bring it out. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. These curses are on us for a sign. 
Right? So we know the brother got Jordans on because of the sun. Right. You're not going to think those Adidas. Right. right? We know you got Adidas pants on because of the sun. Right. We're going to know who God's chosen people are based off these curses because they're used as a sun. Right. You understand that? That's right. Right? Shalom. <laughs> right? Read from the top. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So even in the year 2020, these curses are still on us. Right. Right. Read verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. They say we hungry, we got to serve our enemies. We got to go to their McDonald's, right? Their Arby's, their Penn Station, right? We got to go to whatever grocery stores around here. We got to go to them for that. Right? We don't go to our own people for food. Right. right? We got to go to our enemies. The so-called white man. We was on a slave plantation and they was hungry. What they had, they said, Massa, we hungry. Right. And Massa fed them pork. Right? So we had to go to our enemies when we hungry, right? And in thirst. And in thirst. We want Pepsi. We want wine. Coke. We want water. Coke. Right. right. We going to our enemies. Read. And in nakedness. The clothes on our backs. Right. The Nikes. The Adidas. The Polos. That's right. Right. Read. Right. And in want of all things. You listen to brother say in want of all things. We have to go to our enemies. We want a coat for the winter. We have to go to our enemies for that. We want education. Transportation. We want to learn a new, a new language. Our enemy teach us these things. Right. Read. Right. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And our enemies put a yoke of iron around our necks. You see that brother with the yoke of iron around his neck. Right? So that's what we read in our history of the Bible because we the people of the Bible. That's right. That's right. right. We're the Israelites that the Bible speak of. Get yeah, Deuteronomy right. 10 and 12. You can drop that. Yeah, uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So you understand, that's why we at this lowest state because we, went, because we disobeyed our God. Right? So we've been punished by the Heavenly Father for our disobedience. And we get rewarded when we become obedient. Right? That's when we get the kingdom of heaven. Right? right. Bring that out. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now Israel. And what? Now, and, now, and now Israel. Israel. Say, and now, you listening, brother? It say, and now Israel. That's you. Right, Read. Right? What do if the Lord thy God require of thee? So the Lord is going to let us know some things that's required of us. You got it. You must, as an Israelite, meet these requirements. If the job say you required to pass a drug test and you fail, you're not gonna get the job. Right. If the Lord said you required to to, fit these, to meet these requirements and you don't meet them, you're not gonna get to get to heaven. That's right. Right. Read it from the top. And now Israel, what do if the Lord thy God require of thee? Right. But to fear the Lord thy God, right. to walk in all His ways, and to love Him. Do you love God? Always. How do you love God? By doing what He tells you to do the right way. Oh, uh, praise. Let's get it. Let's see, uh, John 14 and 15. Yeah, get John 14 and 15. Get uh, 2 John 1 and 6. And 1 John 3 and 4. Bring it out. Book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. Bring it out. And it reads, If you love me, keep my commandments. What did the Lord say? If you love me, if you, if you love the Lord, you're going to keep the Lord's commandments. Right? The Lord is about action. Right? A lot of people, everybody out here will say they love God. You know, everybody will say, yeah, I love God. I love Jesus Christ. Well, who's showing it by actions? Right? You understand that? Because a woman, you got a woman, you're dealing with a, a, a woman, she can't say she love you, but then she kind of commit adultery. She cheating on you. Right. She got to show it. She got to prove right. she loves you with her actions. Right. You got to prove you love the Lord, man. Right. right. You the Lord's woman. Right? Bring this up. 1 John 5 and 3. For this is the love of God, right. that we keep his commandments. That we, do what? That that we, we keep, keep his, his commandments. commandments. This is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. Right, they're not grievous. They're not hard to do. We got to obey the commandments. Do what our father told us to do. That's right. Right? Bring out um, Leviticus 11 and 7. We're going to show you a few commandments, brother. Oh, bro. right. Leviticus. Leviticus. Chapter 11. Read and verse 7. It reads, And the swine. What is swine? Uh, pig, pork. <laughs> pig and pork. Right, read. <laughs> Though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed. Yet he cheweth not the cud. He is, right. he is unclean to you. He is, he is, he is unclean, unclean to you. The pork is unclean. Right? So we can't be eating the, the pork. Right. We can't be eating the swine, the pig. Right? right? No pork on your fork. <laughs> yeah, come on. Right, right. Verse 8. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. Can't eat it, really. And their carcass shall ye not touch. Right. Right. They are unclean to you. The Lord don't even want you touching it. That's right. Let alone eating it. You can't eat it, touch it, nothing. Right, Reed? Come, verse 9. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. And of... Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, 
them shall ye eat. Right. So I gotta have fins and scales. Right. right. So what don't have fins and scales? Shrimp. Shrimp. No shrimp. Right. right. No pork. No shrimp. No crabs. No lobster. Oysters. Can't eat none of those things. No shellfish. Hey. That's right, brother. That's right. Right. You eat those things? Yes. Now, now what do you gotta do? Not eat them. That's right. You, right. Gotta, you get Proverbs 28, 13. Brother in the spirit. You get Proverbs 28, 13. That's right, brother. Look at Proverbs 28, 13. Bring it out. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. So you can't cover your sins. You gotta, you gotta, uh, you gotta confess your sins. Right. Like you just did. You did that first step. You confess, right, Reed? But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them, what? and forsaketh them, now you gotta forsake it, right? Shall have mercy. Then you're gonna get mercy That's when you right. confess and forsake. Get Isaiah 55 and 7. You gotta confess right. and forsake your sin. Just I write 21 and 1. You gotta forsake it. Right, bring it out. Isaiah 55 and 7. Let the wicked forsake his way. Right. Let the wicked forsake his ways, man. Right, so you had, you, how you doing, brother? Right, you're an Israelite, brother, you gotta repent. Right, so you have you had uh, uh, evil and wicked ways, right? Eating pork, that was the evil and wicked way, man. A lot of us brothers up here used to eat pork, man, right. and shrimp, right. right? Crab legs, right. right? But now you gotta forsake that, right? And the unrighteous man, his thoughts, right. and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon right. him. Right, so you gotta forsake your ways and return unto the Lord, uh. right? Because right now you you can separate from the Lord. Get Isaiah fifty nine and two. Get Isaiah 59 and 2. Bring down Sarah 21 and 1. This is the book of Sarah. Chapter 29 and verses 1. Bring it out. Sarah 21 and 1. Come. Sarah chapter 21, verse 1. It reads, My son, hast thou sinned? Have you sinned? Have you been eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster? Read. Do so no more. What? Do, Do so, so no more. more. Do so no more, Reed. But ask pardon for thy former sins. Right, Verse 2. Flee from sin. What? Flee, flee from, from sin. sin. Lord, so you got to flee from sin. You got to kind of see it and take off. Huh. You got to flee it and take off. You don't want to be around pork. Right. right. You kind of go in your mom's house. You smelling it. And then you kind of run out the house. Right. Through the spirit. You got to flee from that sin. Hey, Joseph fled from sin. Right. 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 You had the, uh, the, the Egyptian woman. Right, trying to trying to get down with him, grab him by his garment, had to flee from that, man. Had to get up get up out of there. Right, right Reed? Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. Just like a right. serpent. You wouldn't be friends with a serpent petting him. You know what I'm saying? You kinda get him close to your face. Oh, you gotta flee from that serpent. That's right. right, Reed? Kind. For, like For if thou comest too near it, if you get near that sin, Reed, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion. Right, so these that sin that's gonna it's gonna end up leading to destruction. Uh, it's gonna eat you alive, man. Right, right. Next thing you know, missiles eating you alive. Right, next you know fire from the chairs eating you alive, man. All right. right, bring that up. Isaiah 59 and 2. Bring it up. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. So your iniquities have separated you between you and your God. Have separated you, have put a huge gap. So your iniquities have become a gap between you and the Heavenly Father. So how do you draw nigh to God and get close to the Lord? By, you know, uh, sinning less, man. Repenting. Getting that sin and that iniquity out the way. Right, we? And your sins have hid his face from you. Right. And it's, you see out here, we in the ghettos and the slums. That's because the Lord has hid his face from us, man. Right. Because of our iniquities. That's right. Right, we? That he will not hear, for your hands are defiled with blood. Not. So we gotta, we gotta forsake our sins, brother. Not just, not just pork and shrimp, crab and lobster, right? If you've been adulterer, you gotta forsake that. Your lies, right? All your sins, you gotta forsake all your lies, man. I mean, all your sins, right? Right. This is Acts three and nineteen. Repent ye therefore and be converted. So you gotta repent and be converted. Convert back to the Most High. Convert back to the Law, Statutes, and Commandments. Right. That your sins may be blotted out. Wait right, so your sins can be blotted out. Wait, right, the Lord got your sins, you know, not literally, but something like your sins on this long sheet of paper. You want to blot them sins out. You want the Lord, by repenting, to erase your sins so you have a clean sheet when the Lord come back. Right, Reed? When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Right, so you want that clean sheet, that, that new start. You want to be born again through the Spirit before the Lord come back. Man, when the Lord come back, get Isaiah 59 and 19. Close it out with this. Isaiah chapter 
Let's book of Isaiah, chapter 59, and verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Verse 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. The Redeemer is Yahweh Shah, who the world called Jesus Christ. He said he coming to Zion. I mean, he coming for the Israelites. He not coming to redeem the so-called white man That's or right. the Arab or the Chinese or the Asian, the Hamite. The Lord is coming to redeem the children of Israel, right, right, Zion, right, right. Israelites. Right. Right. Go, right, you, brother. Chosen ones. Right, the chosen ones. Right, right read, that. read verse 20 from the top. Verse 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression to Jacob, said the Lord. Right, those that turn from transgression, said the, uh, in Jacob. So not all Zion, the Lord not coming back for all Zion. Those out of Zion that's repenting. Those of the twelve tribes of Israel that turn back from their uh right. that turn back from their sins and return to the Lord. Right. right? And you gotta be a part of that, brother. If you're not, then you're gonna be on the you're gonna be on the wrong side. That's, that's right. right? All right, with that, pass it to the next speaker. Right. Let's go. All praises to the most high. Pour me a shell. Pour me a shell. Pour me a shell. All right, brother, speaking mighty in the spirit, man. All praises to the most high. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Right, for those that don't know, we are the Israelites. According to the Bible, we come out here week in and week out to prophesy the restoration of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Right, the so called black, Hispanic, and Native American, man. Right, and we are to condemn. And overthrow spiritually Babylon the Great, which you know now as America, man. Right, right. The land of sin, the land of iniquity, the land of rebellion, and the land of pure evil, man. Right, right. Right, give me the book of Ezekiel, chapter 17. Actually, give me Ezekiel, chapter 20 and 22. You give me the book of Ezekiel, chapter 21 and 10. Give me Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, and go to verse 2. And you give me Jeremiah, chapter 15 and verse 2, man. Right? So we had to teach the word of the Lord, man. And we don't give a damn if you don't like it, man. We don't care if you cry, but why they keep coming out here, man? I thought they was only coming out here one time. No, we out here all the time, man. We come out here every Sabbath, man. We don't give a damn if you don't like it. Should we call the police? Call the police, man. Right? Get the mayor on the phone, man. Get the governor. Get the president, man. They gonna get cut up, too. Give me Ezekiel 22 and 20. Come on. It's the book. Of Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 20. Bring it up. And it reads As they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. And what? And, and melt, melt you. The Lord going to and melt you. And do what? And melt you. That the Lord going to melt people, man. Right, right, right. The Lord is not a nice guy, man. That's right. That's right. Handing out dandelions, man. Right. And roses and bouquets. Right. And playing scrabble with you, man. Right. And tr 